Okay, so I'm Jeff, and for the next five minutes, I want to ruminate on the notion of digital in place as it relates to this project, one that I produced with Mitchell at the end of last year for the State Library of Queensland. For those that call it Laura. Um, so it's a web-based interface to a collection of over 61,000 black and white photos of Queensland homes from the late 60s and early 70s. It's not just a showcase of that content, it's also a platform for audience input. Uh, our visitors can add addresses to photos, they can tag the photos, and they can also add their stories. So in thinking about how this thing fits with our theme today, I thought I'd start here with the places view and where we offer a geographic representation of the collection. The density of each dot represents the number of images associated with uh, that location. The darker dots have more images. Click a dot and you go to that um, location and the little red dots show you the photos with that have been geolocated by our users. If you click a little red dot, you get to see the image and all the associated metadata that goes with it. So that's you know, a nice uh, literal um, reference to our digital and place symposium theme. But as we've already heard today, place has many other connotations. And this project also draws some of those out. And so I'd like to share a few of those with you as well. The stories are, have, there's over a thousand stories that have been added since the site went up in December and they paint out an incredibly rich and varied notion of place. And so I thought it'd be good to have a little look at those to, to illustrate that point. Just a few of them. So this is fairly typical of a lot of the generosity of our contributors. We've got someone who's put up this incredible personal account of this, of this home down here, family photos, anecdotes, and a rather forlorn shot of it having been demolished in recent years. It paints a very personal picture of place. So does this, Gary Kay, a bit of a legend, giving us a glimpse of what life was like for a uni student in the 70s. Um, and so I think, you know, this paints a, you know, we get a sense of place beyond this home. It talks to the, you know, what university life was like in the 70s. Uh, here we have a conversation between two people who have both had experiences in the same house. Uh, Adam it puts up this post here, talk, he's the current owner of it, and then Gavin B talks about his sister who was the previous owner of it, and they both share their, their particular um, relationship to the house. And so we get a sense of that, that place being transient, people passing through that house. Uh, shops are great, there's lots of amazing shops on the site and incredible anecdotes that paint a picture of bigger community, you know, the suburb, the school and that, the bigger community that, that revolved around the shop. So different notions of place here being reported, I think. There's also architectural nuts, you know, this person giving us the background of the genesis of this house and also our contemporary owners who want to share their lovely home improvements. So very different sense of place again. Tags also give us, I think, a lovely um, idea of place, an expanded notion of place, like particularly this extras view. You could read that as a poem, I think, to um, suburban <coughs> life in Brisbane at the 70s and uh, late 60s. Um, one final idea of place is to consider um, the website itself. So with our collaborators, we've created an online place dedicated to this Corley collection and dedicated to the people whose homes it portrays. So that in itself is a place of our making. Um, and as people who you know, lovingly crafted this place, it's incredibly rewarding to see it being occupied and transformed by its inhabitants. So the locations, the tags, the stories, they all enrich that place. Um, yeah, and we're incredibly grateful. So in conclusion, I think you know, this, this project offers a number of different perspectives on the notion of place, from geographic sites to deeply personal conceptions concerned with lived and shared experience. And finally, to the website, website, website itself as a, uh, another place we can travel to and inhabit. Thanks. <laughs>